Hey everyone, Nate with Grower's House, and today I'm showing off a new LED we just got from American Green, which is the parent company of Truth Lighting. This is a new LED company, and they actually came out with more of their hobbyist indoor grower LED, which we have here known as the Truth Lighting M16, which is their flagship model. And then they also are getting into the greenhouse LED uh, with a new unit that's not even out yet, but you can see it on their website. I heard about this new LED and I asked them if they'd send us one and they were up for it. So they sent us a unit out. So I wanted to run this unit under the spectrometer, see what kind of light measurements it's going to give us and kind of show it off to you guys as a newcomer to the market. So they're saying that this unit is like a 1200 watt equivalent if you're comparing it to HID lighting although they rated at 760 watts draw from the wall. We did some of our own testing with a kilowatt meter and it actually came up at just about 714 watts at the wall at 120 uh, volts which came out to look like just about 5.97 amps. But this guy can be run on 240 volt as well and you could expect that amperage from 5.97 basically to be cut down to about 3 amps. So. This unit is a pretty good size, obviously. It's about 25 inches by 25 inches. And if you look over here, it's about three inches deep. Um, one of the cooler things about this unit is how large it is in general. It'll probably give you a really even footprint because of how big the unit is. And you can actually turn it on in banks. Of, you can turn half the unit on, um, or you could turn the, which essentially gives you 50% light output or you can do 100% on and that'll give you 100% light output. So the spectrum built into this unit is actually designed to go from veg all the way through flower. And these are three watt diodes and the LEDs they use are from Bridge Lux, I know Epi LED and Epistar. So um, one of the other cooler things about this unit is the way they built it it's slightly modular. You can see these different panels. I mean, each one actually has its own driver and its own spectral makeup, which they're all very similar. But if you wanted to get your own custom spectral makeup, you could actually contact Truth Lighting and they'll help make your exact spectrum that you want for each modular uh, LED space. And I mean, I'm sure there's an extra cost. They're actually working that out right now. but. I think that's the only LED company in the market that I know of that offers that option. So if you wanted you know, to get a few of these and make them veg dominant, contact the company, work out a lighting spectrum specifically for what you're doing, or if you wanted to do flower dominant, they could do that too. But as it's built, it has both of them built in. And you can see that pretty easily. If I turn it on, it's gonna be super bright, but hopefully through the video camera, you can see that there's both obvious reds and blues built into the light along with whites and you can see them in different variants the reds blues and whites this guy is very very bright and there are quite a few fans on it to make sure it keeps all those leds cool so that they can last for the entire 50,000 hour lifespan they're rated for which in growing terms is usually about four to five years so that's a pretty good lifespan and uh probably the most notable thing about this product is the price point they're trying to come in at a really, really low price point uh, with a high-end product to try and really get the LED lighting to be a lot closer to the pricing of HID lighting. And we're going to see that more and more with LEDs as they're kind of like computers. Um, as computers got faster and faster and less expensive, LEDs are kind of doing the same thing as technology is ramping up. So over the next few years, you'll definitely keep seeing the price of LEDs go down and down and the quality and intensity of the LEDs go up and up, which eventually it's gonna hit an excess point where maybe LED and HID, there'll be no question that LED is the way to go. But uh, I think right now, you know, it's definitely one of those technologies that's um, burgeoning at the moment. So take a look at this. I'm actually gonna display our test results right here. Check them out below. Cool, so here's the information on the LEDs that I mentioned earlier, including volts, amps, watts, hertz, the number of LEDs, and a nice ratio that we use, the par over watts ratio, which is more of a guideline than anything, use it as you will. But moving into the spectrum, you can see that this light, you know, is obviously trying to focus around the chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, 
um, you know, at the different wavelengths. So you see a spike in the blues and then two spikes uh, over there in the reds, kind of around 640 and I would say about 660 nanometers. And then on the low side, near the 450 nanometer mark. And it has a relatively broad spectrum for LEDs. And you can even see there's a small bump in the far reds up around the 730, 740 nanometer range. Um, so it's got a good broad spectrum for an LED. This one definitely from veg all the way through bloom. And then if we look at the, uh, um, the PAR measurements, uh, we have over the 12, 18, and 24 inch. If you see on the 12 inch, um, it was getting some very, very high readings. Uh, you, you know, we're talking about basically 2,000 around that first foot by foot uh, area. And if you pick the light up a little bit, you still get pretty close to that intensity, but you get a more even footprint. So measuring this light at 12 inches, 18 inches, and 24 inches above the footprint over our five by five, we really think that probably 24 inches above the canopy, the top of your canopy, maybe just a couple inches in, and that's where the light should be hanging if you're trying to do the 5x5. Five five. I mean, if you're doing like a 4x4 four four or smaller, um, you know, somewhere in between the 18 and 24 inches is probably optimal. So you'll see that this light, its MSRP for the light is 1350. We'll probably be offering a little bit less expensively than that, but 1350 uh, when MSRPs for other lights that are around the same wattage are usually around 1800 to 2000 dollars. So definitely going to be a value price performer this light. And other than that, uh, this is Nate from Grower's House. Click on the link below to see all this information in the infographic PDF so you can study it for yourself. And we'll be coming out with more tests soon. Happy growing!